bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Auburn's coaching staff so confident. They know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big play ability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big play ability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. It's second and 13. Ball on the 28. And they make the stop right around the 28-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. wrapped up for the sack. Fields it at the 35. He's got the corner. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down at about the 45. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. He sails it long through his hands. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Barry is waiting for the snap. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. The halfback picks up a yard. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 25. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job with the safety to clean up the mess. Fires to his receiver, first down. 
He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good gain. made right around the 40. That's good for the game of three yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 40. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Got some open field. He's taken down at the 20. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 20-yard line, first down. Inside the 10, gets out to around the six. This is the 11th play of this drive. They'll drop him for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Second down and goal. Ball on the eight. Laterals back. Touchdown, Auburn! He makes the PAT. It was a 12th play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. McPherson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackled for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24. Mike 12. Ready. Throws a bullet. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After the play, the rule on the field stands. 
So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Five wide. Wide out makes the first down catch. And he's tackled at the 22. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. run and he's brought down and a quick throw and he's tackled in the open field It's first and ten. Ball on the eleven. He makes it out to maybe the ten yard line. Game one on the play. That brings up second and nine. And this play is number eight on the drive. There's a strike complete. Fumble, loose ball. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, on the field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Auburn is up by four. And down he goes at the 19. Second down and seven. Ball on the 19. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield.
from their own 27 yard line. It's second down. He makes it to the 28 yard line. the 38-yard line. They complete the slant. Good for 10. Chapman is the punter. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 29. The Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Got a man in and out of his hands. timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, Tigers. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. is back. Room around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 49. Quick strike and he drops it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. and 10, ball on the 37. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Here's the eighth play of the series. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. This is the 10th play of the drive. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds at the four.
this is the 11th play of the current drive. Throws out and through his hands. It's second and goal. Ball on the four yard line. He scrambles. They'll bring him down at the two yard line. This is the 13th play of this drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. it out. He's met immediately. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Oh, excellent punt. Brown takes it at the 33, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kentucky has a three-point lead. Decent run here, right side. That makes it second and six. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Ready! Quick pass. He's tackled around the 32 yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Close the fight. <laughs> Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. Number 22 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Nice run up the middle. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They come out on an empty backfield.
this fourth and four. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. So our score, Kentucky 13, Auburn 7. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. Hunter's performance here in the first half is just not what we're used to seeing. And I think right now everybody's kind of looking around in that huddle saying, who's going to help the cause because he's not getting it done? Not at all. And this is really where you find out what this offense as a group is made out of. It's one thing on a week to rely on your star running back when he's having a great game. But when he's off, who can step up? You know, if I'm the quarterback of this offense, I'm looking around and I'm challenging some of the other guys in that huddle to take some of the heat off of this running back. Now, you never know. He could catch fire in the second half, but at this point, they need to make some kind of adjustments. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. to the 40 and he hauls it in he's taken down at about the 47 yard line I like this wide receiver a lot he knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball he made a terrific play to keep this drive alive first and 10 ball in their own 47 He makes his way to about the 45. That makes it second and two. I got two. I got two. Man, that's right. That's right. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. That's a D3 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. Frazier gets a handoff to the right. Tackle made at the 28. That's good for a of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Time And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 30-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's the ninth play of the drive. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. outside after a nice pickup. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. And he is 
is drilled at the 15. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. They'll get him for a loss. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. From the 16-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit immediately. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kentucky is up a field goal. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. It's third and five. Ball on the 30. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Scott is back to receive. Scott takes it to the 28, and he's taken down at the 34. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. First down. Kicks up. And it's good. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. 
But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job on trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, then a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, great, not to give away any turnovers. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brandon Kirk are there to deliver. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They're about four yards away here on second down. goes at the 38. Pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. And they make the stop at the 48. They need to get it inside the 41. He's going left. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the 19. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Taken down at the 12-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Setting up the play action. Quick throw. Touchdown, Wildcats. by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point.
They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He lets it fly. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Chapman is the punter. And this one is a beauty. Brown fields it at the 24, tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gets out to around the 45. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Got a man open, and he can't pull it in. complete. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Caught open field. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Kentucky can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He has some room. Gets to around the 42. 
Game of 14 yards. First down. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. He gets rid of this one. There's a flag down, and this most likely is going to be on the defense. That's interference. Defense. defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From their own 40-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. pressure decides to slide thorn gets six yards after taking it himself third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down tackle made at the 43 He's under pressure, and he throws it away. From the 43-yard line, second down. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. Has some daylight. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He fights forward to about the 26. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's scrambling. He lost the ball. It's recovered. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Second down and 12. Ball on their own 23. Catches it, and that's all. Almost six yards on the play action. Good job by the quarterback to put the ball right in the hands of the big tight end there. Tackle. 
at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Tackled at around the 48 yard line. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Ready! Ray 97. He makes it to the 45 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Twelve with Mike. Gets to about the 44-yard line, and the defense comes through. I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And they got him for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's second and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. Grabs it and hammered right there. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. That's three down and one to go. Wildcats with a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He steps out at the 40-yard line. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That brings us fourth and three. Scott, the return man. Oh. 
Scott takes it at the 21. He's tackled at the 28. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And watch out here. And they make the stop at the 43 yard line. Game of seven yards. First down. From their own 43 yard line. First down. Nice run there. Six yards there on the option keeper. That'll make it second and four. Tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Scrambling around. They bring him down. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down where they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Here we go. He's at the 20. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice run there as they work the outside. Alston picks up about four yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four yard line. Brought down at the three. A gain of a yard and the quarterback keeper. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Auburn! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Auburn gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Kentucky is up a field goal. Just throws this one away.
from their own 25 yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Here we go. 180. Up the middle for a nice game. That plays good for about six yards and a first down. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. From their own 39 yard line. First down. They'll bring him down around the 44 yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. He flings it. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's tackled at the 24. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Sets them up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Kentucky holds a field goal lead. They'll get him for a loss. Of one yard. That brings him second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. He laterals the ball. Tackled for a loss. Call a loss of three yards on the play. That makes his third and goal. From the 11 yard line. Third down. He's taken down at the 11. No game on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. He chucks it downfield. Missed him. 
Well, this quarterback would love to have this throw back. He's got a receiver downfield open, and he got so excited that he put too much on the ball, and he overthrew it. From their own 38-yard line, second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. throw out to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds around the 50-yard line. First down. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it second and six. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Looks middle, got his back. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. Slides down to the ground. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. He's on the run. Tackle at the seven. And he stops the clock with a spike. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. It's caught, and we are all tied up, folks. And he converts the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Hey. 
Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Under heavy pressure. He wants it all going long. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And down he goes around the 45-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Up a point. And they make the stop at the 42. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 27-26, Tiger. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.